Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice equation 2x squared plus x is equal to 0. We need to find all possible values of x. We will solve it by three methods. So let's start with method 1. In this method, we factor out x from this expression x as a common factor and in bracket left 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression x is equal to 0 or this expression 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. This is the first value of x. This is the first solution of this equation and from here we move uh, this plus 1 to the right side 2x is equal to this plus 1 becomes negative 1 and we divide both sides by 2 at right side we divide by 2 this 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and we get the value of x negative 1 over 2 this is the second value of x, this is the second solution of this equation. So from method 1, we get two solutions of this equation. Now let's solve this equation by method 2. Now we solve this equation by method 2. In this method, we divide both sides of this equation by 2. We divide each term of this equation by 2. 2 like this 2x squared divided by 2 plus x divided by 2 is equal to 0 divided by 2. Now this 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and here left x squared plus x over 2 is equal to 0 divided by 2, 0. Now we solve it by completing the square according to this algebraic identity a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared. In this equation here we have this x as a. And we split this uh, x over 2 as, we split this x over 2 as, this x over 2 is equal to 2 times x times 1 over 4. This uh, 2 times x times 1 over 4 is same as this x over 2. So according to this expression 2ab, here we have 2 and this x is as a and this 1 over 4 is as b. So we complete the square like this x squared plus we split this x over 2 as 2 times x times 1 over 4. Now to complete the square we add square of this term 1 over 4. 1 over 4 squared and we subtract this 1 over 4 squared is equal to 0. Now as this expression a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to this a plus b whole squared. So this x squared plus 2 times x times 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 squared is equal to x plus 1 over 4 whole squared minus this 1 over 4 squared is equal to 1 over 16 is equal to 0. Now we move with this negative 1 over 16 to the right side x plus 1 over 4 whole squared is equal to this negative 1 over 16 becomes a positive 1 over 16 and from here we take square root of both sides 
so this square will be cancelled with this square root and at left side left x plus 1 over 4 is equal to square root of 1 over 16 is plus minus 1 over 4 now from here x plus 1 over 4 is equal to positive 1 over 4 and x plus 1 over 4 is equal to negative 1 over 4. Now from here we move this plus 1 over 4 to the right side. x is equal to 1 over 4. This plus 1 over 4 becomes negative 1 over 4. And x is equal to 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4 0. This is the first value of x. This is the first solution. Now from here we move this plus 1 over 4 to the right side. So x is equal to negative 1 over 4. This plus 1 over 4 becomes negative 1 over 4. And x is equal to we take LCM of this 4 and this 4. LCM of 4 and 4 is 4. And 4 divided by 4, 1, 1 times this negative 1, negative 1. This minus will come here. And 4 divided by 4, 1. And 1 times this 1, 1. And x is equal to negative 1 minus 1, minus 2 over 4 and x is equal to from here 2 1 time and 2 2 times 4 so we get the value of x negative 1 over 2 this is the second value of x this is the second solution of this equation so we get the same solution as we get with method 1 x1 is equal to 0 and x2 is equal to negative 1 over 2 now let's solve this equation by method 3. Now we solve this equation by method 3. In this method we can write this 2x squared as we can write this 2x squared as square root of 2 times x whole squared. We write this 2x squared as square root of 2 times x squared plus this x is equal to 0. Now we solve it by completing the square according to this algebraic identity a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared. We have this term square root of 2 times x as a. And because here we have 2ab, so we write this x as we write this x as 2 times the term a is square root of 2 times x times, and because here we have only x, so we write the second term as 1 over 2 times square root of 2. This 2 times square root of 2 times x times 1 over 2 times square root of 2 is same as this x. Now we complete the square like this square root of 2 times x squared plus we split this x as this 2 times square root of 2 times x times 1 over 2 times square root of 2. Now this term square root of 2 times x is as a and this term 1 over 2 times square root of 2 is as b. So we add in this expression 1 over 2 times square root of 2 squared and we subtract from this expression this same term 1 over 2 times square root of 2 
squared is equal to 0. Now as this expression Now as this expression a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to this a plus b whole squared. This expression square root of 2 times x squared plus 2 times square root of 2x times 1 over 2 times square root of 2 plus 1 over 2 times square root of 2 squared is equal to square root of 2 times x plus 1 over 2 times square root of 2 whole squared minus this term 1 over 2 times square root of 2 squared is equal to 0. Next square root of 2 times x plus 1 over 2 times square root of 2 whole squared is equal to this negative 1 over 2 times square root of 2 squared becomes positive 1 over 2 times square root of 2 squared and from here we take square root of both sides. So this square will be cancelled with this square root and this square will be cancelled with this square root and at left side left square root of 2 times x plus 1 over 2 times square root of 2 is equal to plus or minus 1 over 2 times square root of 2. Now from here this square root of 2 times x plus 1 over 2 times square root of 2 is equal to positive 1 over 2 times square root of 2 and square root of 2 times x plus 1 over 2 times square root of 2 is equal to negative 1 over 2 times square root of 2 and from here we move this plus 1 over 2 times square root of 2 to the right side then left side left square root of 2 times x is equal to 1 over 2 times square root of 2. This positive 1 over 2 times square root of 2 becomes negative 1 over 2 times square root of 2. And square root of 2 times x is equal to 1 over 2 times square root of 2 minus 1 over 2 times square root of 2 is 0. Now from here we divide both sides by square root of 2. At right side we divide by square root of 2. This square root of 2 will be cancelled with this square root of 2 and we get the value of x 0 divided by square root of 2 to 0. This is the first value of x, this is the first solution. Now from here we move this plus 1 over 2 times square root of 2 to the right side. Square root of 2 times x is equal to this negative 1 over 2 times square root of 2. This plus 1 over 2 times square root of 2 becomes negative 1 over 2 times square root of 2 and square root of 2 times x is equal to we take the LCM of these two denominators the LCM is same 2 times square root of 2 and this negative 1 and this negative 1 comes here negative 1 minus 1 next square root of 2 times x is equal to negative 1 minus 1 minus 2 over 2 times square root of 2 next square root of 2 times x is equal to this 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and here left 1 
so at right side left negative 1 over square root of 2 now from here we multiply both sides of this equation by 1 over square root of 2 at right side we multiply by 1 over square root of 2 and this square root of 2 will be cancelled with this square root of 2 and at left side left x is equal to negative 1 times 1 negative 1 divided by square root of 2 times square root of 2 2 this is the second value of x this is the second solution of this equation so from this method 2 we got the same solutions x1 is equal to 0 and x2 is equal to negative 1 over 2